Hey everyone and welcome back to Planet Zoo, welcome with another diorama. Today we are going to build a otter lagoon. This one is a little bit different from the ones we've done so far. Today's one will be focused on 80% water and underwater, so uh, I actually wanted to make something fully water, like fully aquatic. And then I figured that's just not really possible, uh, simply due to the fact that you have to maintain the gate, and the gate is always causing a little bit of an issue. And then again, this whole thing developed from it. So it basically started off as a little test. So I'm going to be blandly honest with you here. So this was never be planned to me to be made into one actual uh, diorama, but I just figured it was just nice enough as a little idea um, that I kind of you know continued doing it, and I'm extremely happy with the outcome so I thought you know what you're gonna get an extra diorama this week because honestly I tried to go back to one diorama a week now and then move back to Yosemite but you know we do have to do that a little bit different now with Yosemite in the next coming days um, I'm gonna give you an update on that as soon as it's ready but uh, good good news ahead I managed to get a way better performance out of Yosemite which is an ensuring that we can do at some point a tour um, so good news ahead but anyways let's talk about why this thing was a little test so you can see I was testing how to achieve most likely like a fully aquatic area now the problem is obviously that you always have this um, gate. You can delete the gate once you've done the habitat and have the animals in, but then again, if you unpause the game, they're going to be boxed and, you know, once they're boxed, uh, you can't unbox them because it's an invalid habitat and so, yeah, it just kind of created all these issues and you somehow have to hide the entrance away and this is what I basically did um, with this little rock in the middle and it almost is starting to look like you know um these floating rocks you you are used to seeing from for example thailand i remember thailand um down there at kopi pi kompangang and you know kosamui they had a lot of these different um rocks in the water that you know they are pretty big and overgrown to the top but then they go almost like like a droplet um shape they go and go thinner to the bottom part where the water is and this is I think it's mostly down to corrosion is or erosion corrosion I think it's erosion um, basically you know the process of the water um, kind of getting getting rid of the stone or making the stone smoother and smoother and then you know uh, making making sure that this is going to thinner until eventually they're going to break and uh, you know crackle down which um, there are a couple of videos online you can find this how this is looking but you know it takes it takes so so many years that it's very very seldom and yeah whatever um this is i thought that looks kind of nice and it also remind me on the tour we did at the northern part of the Dominican Republic once we've been there. Um, we also did like a mangrove jungle tour and before we went there into the jungle we passed by uh, the open sea and then there were also these kind of uh, yeah rocks in the middle of the sea basically uh, with a lot of birds. Actually birds would be superb for over here. Um, like you know making sure that they fly around that little thingy in the middle. There were like millions of small Caribbean tropical birds birds uh, zooming around this little rock and then having had all their little nests all across that little well it wasn't that little but you know this rock basically in the middle of nowhere um, so that was really cool and I thought you know this is a cool thing to do here and also it just acts like a perspective barrier um, or like a visual barrier for the gate in the background I do some different things as well I thought you know I can get rid uh, of of this ugly gate in the background but only this one but it turned out that this this thing alone is not going to solve the issue here, um, so I needed to do some other things. However, uh, one thing which is really, really brilliant, and this is in fact one of the most important things about this build, um, how much straightforward the building process was, and that's a that's a huge testament to the experience I gained over the last couple of weeks doing these dioramas. Um, but before I talk too much about this diorama, in fact, I want to give a huge shout out to the entire community like I, I mean a gigantic shout out you know so many people jumped on that trend of building dioramas and honestly I just wanted to build something different like I just kind of it wasn't meant to be like a trend or something I just figured you know I want to do something that is like a one-off build but then again it's not 
because it's something different and yeah it just kind of developed into a trend that everyone is following right now which i love they're like so many insanely looking um dioramas i think one of the my favorite ones i've seen is the one from beyond drew which um is kind of a little old warehouse in a very brick style it almost reminds me a little bit of uh the uh, steampunk area of fly the new coast in fantasia land um so it kind of had that little bit of old warehouse factory vibes which i, I really do dig a lot um, and then, if I remember correct, it was like with dingoes or with like wolves. I'm not really sure, but really cool build. You should definitely check that one out. And um, just in general, like so many cool ones. Um, even though Lady played herself down a little bit, if I you know remember correctly, I don't know why she did, but I love the Arctic Penguin one a lot, uh, simply because it is just basically what it is. I talked about that briefly last week. It just looks fantastic as well. Savannah did a good one. So loads of people jumping on that trend and really great stuff that I can spot everywhere around. So brilliant. Thank you guys so much for jumping on it. It just kind of really makes me makes me smile seeing all these. Anyways, um, another thanks goes out to my community in, in you know, especially um, because many of you followed uh, my in invitation, so to say, to become a member. So big thanks. I will talk about this again at the end of the video in the real time part. But a big thanks to all of you who joined already in case you don't know what this is all about, because that weird camel talks about a membership. And um, there is a new option on the channel where you can become a member for like 99 cents. It basically gives you access to some emotes and eventually a forum like slash community wall posting with like a screenshot of an unreleased project um, but I said to myself that I'm only starting doing this once we are enough people that it really has a value for you um, so again just as a little heads up it's it's never going to be like this kind of yeah uh, membership only the kind of vibe going on because I yeah I, I just don't dig that I just I think it should be all free like my my stuff creativity inspiration should be for everyone so I might give you some perks in there but nothing major but if you still want to continue supporting me and essentially freeing me a little bit of the pressure of that algorithm which is basically never in my favor <laughs> um, that's that's going to be a big one but again n no one needs to so just keep that in mind as a little information service if you want to know more about that YouTube will help you out by typing that in. Um, let's quickly talk about the rest of the build because it's not really that much. I did a bit off screen, uh, which I didn't record. But in fact, it, it just was pretty straightforward and so basically my, my quickest build so far. Um, this time around, I'm actually doing a border down there, not keeping that natural. I just wanted to make that a little bit more like an aquarium vibe. Which, to be honest, I have no idea why. I just figured it looked good, so there's no deeper reason to that, but I just like the contrast with the black down there especially for the screenshot later on um and you know frankly this 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 whole thing building dioramas you, you kind of build them for the one shot you know for the one v view which is the selling point of this build so i think it's only fair to you know focus on making that good and then you know i built like a little catamaran 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 i have no idea how you would say that in english a boat with a uh, two boat thingies <laughs> it's kind of, i have no idea um with like with with, with two bases like with whatever you know what i mean it's like this weird boat um i just wanted to build that because it just sparked some great memories for me and i thought you know that's kind of a nice little thing but i just wanted to make it wooden to fit the fit the style a bit better and that's that's about it i figured it just kind of starts to look almost like the the beach of lost or something like this uh, <laughs> the more i think about that like with the with the boats and stuff but yeah whatever I'm just quite happy with the build. Um, it, it just turned out to be very nice because it's focused really on the natural side of things. Um, but we will go on and have some more buildings and some more details in some of the next ones. Um, many, many great suggestions in the comments. And I would love to have even more suggestions from you guys in the comments. Today, I have a specific task for you. Please let me know about a region and an animal in specific specific what you want to see i have a certain idea what i could do for the future as well because you know as you know me i always need to go into new areas and stuff and i've got a different idea for planet zoo in the future um well, I, first of all i have to check out if that's gonna work anyways but yeah let me know what you would love to see as a diorama realized as a di diorama what kind of animal what kind of region um maybe even if you have like a specific location that could be nice let me know in the comments down below in any case this is the build so far. A couple of uh, details will be added in between the uh, real-time part and this time-lapse here. So expect some little changes, but that's about it. Now enjoy the real-time part. I hope you guys enjoyed the time-lapse. Have a good time and goodbye.
Hey everyone, and here we are in the real-time part. Now, as you can clearly tell, this is a little bit of a different one this time, and you can see this is where the otters are swimming in, and this is the little, I, you know, I don't want to call it Amazon, it's almost like a, I don't know, it's like... I can't even tell what exactly it could be. It could be like a, a complete sea, you know, um, maybe very close to the land, whoever knows uh, where that could be. But it could also be like a little bit of an, an a broken up island in the middle of nowhere, you don't know. You know, it could also be in the middle of a river delta. Something like that could actually be uh, the topic of this one. But I just wanted to test how that works if we have mostly uh, like 80% 90% only water and this is uh, yeah you can see this is how it works and finally we can make use of the diving mechanic in a very nice way I'm just gonna position my camera over here so you get the idea of how that should work and um, I'm very happy with how playful the otters uh, do behave in this, um, it's not even habitat, in this diorama. Uh, I think it works very well. There are a couple of things you know I start to notice that are um, becoming a little bit more of an issue. The more I build these dioramas, I figure that, you know, these pillars in between here from the um, glass walls are a little bit of a problem. I would love to have like a completely 40 meter-ish water, uh, like a glass front. I have an idea how to do it. I could do that with the like water surface trick, but then again, you need to do something else around these corners to make that look still nice. And I don't know, I think this is the most... This is the most flat way you can get the water to be, and then again, you, you need something that blends in very well. I have no idea if, if there's a trick out there, um, how you can do these things uh, in a better way. I think there was a trick with like deleting uh, invisible thingies in between and then combining these things together so you make one panel out of these. I think there was a trick but I'm not 100% sure if that's still a case or not. Um, but yeah, the, we talked a lot about the idea of this habitat in the uh, time lapse, so I don't need to um, talk too much about it. You can actually see how that turns out. I'm going to put that in the workshop for you guys as well as the others that are in the workshop right now, so you can all download them. Uh, if you want to do me a favor, you can like and subscribe and blah, blah, blah uh, on the workshop as well. But as a matter of fact, let's quickly keep that in the center here. And I'm going to put my mouse right in here in the sail of that little boat that just kind of nearly blends in. Um, if you guys want to support me, I just told you recently, there is a new membership option on the channel. It's only 99 cents. So very affordable, very easy in order to help me free myself a little bit from the weird algorithm. Um, only if you can, obviously. But uh, already quite some people joined, which is pretty great. And we are only 10 people missing before I actually start doing some regular updates on the membership front um, so that there is kind of a little bit of a value behind that and I can use that. Um, so yeah, that's pretty neat in case you guys are interested. And also, if you guys are not following on Instagram yet, I would highly recommend so because I uh, finally keep posting there on a regular basis and it's actually v valuable to be over there. <laughs> I'm going to put some stuff down. Um, and one last very interesting bit, very, very personal information here. So first of all, I'm going to live stream tonight. So in case you guys want to catch me live, you can do so tonight. Uh, I'm not going to hand over a, uh, you know, a specific time because it sometimes takes longer to bring the little one into bed. So it might be later or earlier. So I don't want to give you too much uh, of a timing yet. But I will be on Twitch. So make your make your eyes make your port. <laughs> make sure your eyes are peeled on that one. Um, but yeah, uh, we bought a electric vehicle. This is actually the topic I wanted to talk about. And I will document the change from the combustion engine car, or the obviously the normal, the normal, um, you know, uh, fuel engine car, to a electric vehicle. Which uh, we're going to get the car. We grab it on Saturday, and from Saturday on, I'm going to install a new TikTok channel in which I'm going to make some shorts, um, which then I'll carry over to my camel. Um, talks channel as well. So if you don't know that I have a Camel Talks channel, uh, there is one existing. I'm going to link that in this video as well. Um, so you can check that out as well. I will definitely document that if ca in, in case you guys are interested. That's a little service for you. You don't have to. I'm just doing that because I'm super passionate and super interested in the shift towards electric vehicles as well. Um, so yeah. Anyways, let's let's round this off. Loads of topics here. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed today's build. Um, different one. The next one will be somewhat different. We might start tonight in the live stream. We might also do some Yosemite. I don't know yet. Um, but I, you know, I really enjoyed that one. So hopefully you guys did too. I hope you have a wonderful Wednesday. It's hump day. It can only be good. So uh, yeah, enjoy your time. See you in the next one and goodbye. Stay safe, everyone.